Hey guys, before we get into the video, hit that like, comment down below, share it, and don't forget to turn my chair. I'm going to do a reaction for you now. Let's, let's react to this for, for you. So, so yeah. firefighters, we will never know the price you've paid to keep our community safe. But we thought that maybe we could get a little idea if we tried to put ourselves in your shoes. If I was a firefighter, I would, um, I'd get up like around 5 a.m., eat breakfast, <laughs> help a lot of houses if they burnt. I would go out and I would, um, like how they fill the fighter hydrant, fire hydrant. The best part of being a firefighter would be helping people put out fires, helping people survive in a, in a burning building. That you get to, uh, like use the pole and you get to wear all the nice equipment that they wear. It's saving people. Having to help all those people and saving them look at my face when you know, like save them. The hardest part of being a firefighter is probably going into burning houses and making it out alive. <laughs> the hardest part about being a firefighter is being brave enough to go into the fire. The hardest part is if they don't have all their gear, they won't technically survive in the burning building and the other civilians will technically die from it. Having to put all the equipment on because it, it usually takes uh, 10 to 20 minutes to put it all on. Uh, waking up in the middle of the night or like 1 in the morning to go to call, you don't really want to wake up. Getting in the truck. Yeah, because the steps and it's high. <laughs> <laughs> Firefighters wear jackets that are black and green and gray. Well, when they're going into like a fire, they wear a lot of like thick, heavy fireproof gear. This kind of helmet. They have the jacket, so it's like really cool. So like in in fire situations, it like help cool me down. <laughs> If I was a fighter fighter, I would probably eat pizza or steak. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> steak. I would probably like pizza. <laughs> eat a lot of protein. <laughs> if I was a firefighter, I would be, feel happy. If I was a fighter fighter, I would feel brave. That's good. Courageous. Brave. <clears throat> Rich. <laughs> Rich. <laughs> Fierce. Caring. Awesome. As members of the community, we could never really know the sacrifices you and your families have made. In South Huron alone, you are a part of over 70 volunteer firefighters who serve from stations in Exeter, Huron Park, and Dashwood. As first responders, you are ready and prepared to do whatever it takes as soon as that call comes in. I mean, how could we ever really know? The hockey games, celebrations, the birthdays you've missed because you dropped everything to respond. The time you've had to make up at work after leaving for a call. How could we ever really know the time that you've spent learning, practicing, and developing your skills? Or the long and sometimes late nights where the fire never seemed to end. We know there have been times when you've chosen to remain calm, even when your heart is beating out of your chest. And the times you were patient and kind, even in the midst of crisis. You've shown courage when situations looked impossible. And spoke hope when everything seemed hopeless. You count the cost of running towards danger when you could have been running from it. 
How could we ever imagine the constant pressure you face making quick decisions with lives on the line? Or the weight of not knowing what you're going to show up to, or how the night will end. Many of us will never know the feeling of having to let go, knowing you've done everything you can, while still watching dreams fall to the ground. How can we really know how many lives have been saved? How many families have been impacted by who you are and what you choose to do? And after the dust settles, as the trucks are pulling away, how could we ever measure the amount of appreciation that wells up in the hearts of the ones you serve? No, we could never really know what it's cost you to give what you have. But there is one thing that we do know for sure. You don't hear this enough. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. That was amazing for you guys. I may wash it already. This is the second time I wash it. But I just want to do a reaction video to that for you because it touched my heart and it's amazing for you ever. And this video they did was at my church. I go to in my small town. I go every once a day and... They have a YouTube chair, and if you guys want to go and sub to their YouTube chair, I will let the YouTube chair down below. Okay. And you can go and sub to their YouTube chair and tell their sub on YouTube and I just find out that they have a YouTube channel and I didn't know that. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. You don't have that many up there anyway. But go and if you want to, you can. So, yeah. So, I hope you like this video, this reaction video, to a video I already see at my church, but please out, don't worry, see you in the next video guys, and happy Halloween out, Mwah. I love you, have a good night, or whatever you watch this, bye, see you tomorrow.